the human eyeball. Where would we be without it? It's a wonderful, wonderful organ. And nothing says gross and Halloween like a tray full of human eyeballs. And I'm going to show you how to make some super cheap, icky, sticky, gooey eyeballs. So keep your eye on me. <laughs> keep your eye on me. Let's go. Warning, Dr. Creepy gives no guarantees on the information provided. We claim no responsibility for any accidents or injuries. If you attempt any of these projects, do so at your own risk. Remember, be safe. <laughs> Alright gang, this project's gonna run you about 10 bucks, probably less, because you might have a lot of this stuff laying around and you can make a whole slew of eyeballs with it. What you're gonna need is clear coat spray paint, flat white spray paint, flat black spray paint, blue acrylic paint, black acrylic paint, and red acrylic paint, a coat hanger or stiff wire that you can make a stand out of, an artist brush, a foam earplug. Now, the only reason I suggest this, you might have a round foam applicator, but I found this works very well for creating the iris. Paper towels, and either a thick thread or the little frilly end of an old towel. A sanding block or sandpaper, grit doesn't really matter. And what's the secret ingredient? Bouncy balls. You can buy a big bag of bouncy balls for a dollar at your dollar store. So let's get to it. Step one. Take your bouncy ball and your sandpaper or your sanding block and sand the crap out of your bouncy ball. You want to make sure you try to knock down the little molding seam that runs through the center of the ball. But what you want to do is just rough it up all over so your spray paint adheres. Make sure you clean it off after you're done. You want to get all the dust. Take a little water and wipe it off with a towel. Step two. Take your little wire coat hanger or your piece of stiff wire and bend it up so you can make a little stand. Then you're going to take your ball, your little bouncy ball, and you're just going to shove the wire in there. So now you got a nice little stand to spray paint this thing with. And you also want to keep in mind when you put the ball on there, try to make the seam where the ball was molded run along the side so you know you don't find out later that you put an iris right over the seam it kind of takes away from the illusion give your eyeball a good coat of black paint all over now once you got a really good coat on it all the way around front back top bottom wait for it to dry maybe you want to go watch some TV or something or you could use a hair dryer when that's done, give it a good coat of white spray paint. Front and back, top and bottom. The next step, waiting for the paint to dry again. Alright, once that's done, you're going to take your little earplug and you're going to dab it in a little bit of your blue acrylic paint. Just a little dab, 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 like that, but you don't want a ton of paint on the end of your little earplug, so you want to dab it, wipe off some of the excess paint. Then you're going to take your eye and your earplug, you're going to try to center that. Push it on, take it off real quick, and you should have a nice little round iris. I'd have to mess with it a couple times to get it right, but there you go. Doesn't look too bad. Now, once that's dry, you're going to take your black acrylic paint and your artist paintbrush, and you are going to paint a little tiny pupil right in the center of the iris. Just a little, as carefully as you can. Doesn't have to be perfect. And you got a little pupil. Okay, now there's something you can do while you're waiting for your pupil to dry. Take your red acrylic paint, get a little bit of that on a piece of newspaper or paper, 
take a piece of tissue or paper towel and just kind of dab it in there. You gotta rip the edge of the paper towel so you get kind of a jagged look. You wanna dab it, dab it, dab it, and just kind of wipe it, wipe it off so the paint's not so thick on the paper towel. Okay, now once your pupil's dry, you're gonna take your red paper towel and you're gonna work from the back and just lightly brush toward the front. What you're trying to go for is a little bit of capillary veinage look. And you want to do it in light brushes so you don't have thick globs of paint on there. You want to do the heavier paint in the back and get the lighter strokes toward the front. And see, you start to get a little bit of vein look, capillaries. And now, on to the next step. And you don't have to wait for the paint to dry on this. Okay, next step. The towel with the little frillies on it. I'm going to tear some of those little frilly strings out. Put them aside. Maybe six or seven of them. Okay, when you've decided you have enough uh, little red strokes on the eyeball there. Take a little bit more of your red paint. Another dab of it. <laughs> it gives it come out. There we go. And all your strings that you hopefully pre prepared. And then you're going to take your little tweezers. You're grabbing into the string and you want to use a nail or something for this. Just kind of drag that string through the red and then you want to get most of that thick glob of paint off then you're just going to kind of lay the string on the eyeball yeah. go the other way yeah. lay that string on the eyeball I think you're getting the idea what you want to do is you want to make bigger blood vessels once again, take the string, drag it through the paint, get that excess paint off of there, lay the string on the eyeball. And anything you have left over, remember you can always cut off later with scissors. Another string. Sit down. Okay, once you're done putting all your little veins on, set it aside, let it dry for a few minutes. Shouldn't take too long, and then you're ready for your final step. Okay, once all your little capillaries and veins have uh, dried up, give it a couple good coats of clear coat spray paint. Stay back a few inches from it. You don't want to get too close and wet it down too much because the paint will start to run. So stay back about six, eight inches. Give it a pretty liberal coat. Let it dry and maybe give it another coat. And there you have it, folks. Pretty simple, pretty quick. Give it a couple good coats of the clear coat and it, uh, it gets that wet, freshly plucked look very cheap. You can make a ton of these. You can pass them out with Halloween candy or even send them in your party invitations. One more thing. The skull I showed you the other day that kind of came out deformed, well this kind of shows that not all hope is lost when that happens. This is the same skull after a little bit of TLC and filling in some holes and painting it. It ended up looking pretty cool. It's got some nice little cracks and crevices in it. And I would set it on a bookcase or in a graveyard scene or maybe I'll corpse it. I don't know, but, you know, you can bring these things back even if they deform. And that's it, folks. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Until next time, this is Dr. Creepy saying stay twisted and sleep with the lights on.